Welcome to another ride along with goggles and uh, we're in Billings and we're going to just head up the road to it's the DFA and pick up a load of grain going up to Malta and you might ask yourself Malta that's not in the game and well it's going to be <laughs> so we're going to get a sneak peek at it of course it's a recon lobster thing and it's pretty cool so uh, what's going on here is um this is a pretty short trip 200 miles so what we're going to do is we're going to do the load at this end too just to kill a bit of time and get to chat with you a bit about what's going on and a little bit about this truck and the skin and the trailer and its skin lots going on here well we should uh raise that drop axle see if it will it doesn't always uh Oh, it says it's going up. Oh, yeah, there it goes. So this is the Load King um, Prestige from the uh, DLC, the Load King DLC that uh, we bought through SCS. Turn right. And this is the SCS 389. With uh, there's a accessory pack on the in the workshop for it, and uh, we're running that a link for all of this in the video description but you get a decent set of exhaust pipes like they look good and they also they're black inside like they're actually been used which is kind of cool but add some neat uh, features to the truck a whole bunch of side skirt options and a whole bunch of uh, keep right after 50 yards go straight a whole bunch of uh, uh, there's fuel tank options and uh, air cleaners and the, the script straight. shows up on the fuel tank which it doesn't do without that package for some reason on the default truck so that's kind of neat I like having that show up look at that they got the white line on the road but there's no stop signs interesting I wonder if that's a mistake And the trailer, of course, I've just started to skin for it. It's a work in progress, but it's close. After 100 yards, turn right. Oh, there it's up there. Well, we'll see if this parking thing's going to work out. Turn right. If I've been in this particular yard for a pickup before. I mean the prefab, yeah, but not this uh, this yard. So if any luck here, it's going to have us do a hard parking here. It could be a bit of a challenge because we're going to be reached your destination. We're going to be a long way from. <laughs> we're going to have to pull out quite a distance to uh, get all lined up. Yeah, so Malta. Look at that, it's on the map. Cargo. Cool. Grain. Let's do it. Hey, yeah, that'll be a hard parking spot. So I think what I'll do. I don't know if this'll work or not. Let's try it. I hope I can get that back trailer through this little hole. Yeah, this should be alright. You gotta take what they'll give you. I haven't done this for a while, so <laughs> already off to a bad start. I 
Come on around there, you little doggy. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get it steering around there in time to save our day. We'll see. As you see where the yeah, we see where the wheels are on the first trailer. Uh, it's not gonna work in a month of Sundays. I'll try and get this here a little more. Is that pallet actually there? I don't know if it is or not. Too long there. It's not going to be the prettiest job, but I think we'll, we'll get the uh, trigger. That'll do. <laughs> Pretty out of practice at this, so we'll take it. All right, loaded up, ready to go. So I'm using a different map thing uh, display here. It's got... It, the one thing it doesn't do is it doesn't show you it shows me on the my little icons there but it doesn't tell me where I'm going so I still need Lori for that so hop in here and uh, I guess we're gonna head out this way what's going on with my truck let's reset this there we go So it was pretty groovy inside, except for I'm not crazy about this great big shifter sticking up here. But it's good if you look at the uh, window window switches; they're animated. After 100 yards, it's kind of cool. Right. Turn right. I don't think the light switches are. We got the DD60 in here. Let's see if that window over there is animated. No, just the ones on this side. Or the switches, I should say.
these uh, little red lights up above the uh, up by the visors. I believe those are. Uh... Oh, I'll wait till I get the windows rolled up so I can hear. <laughs> Yeah, those little lights that they're I think they're anti-glare lights and uh, I was reading up on it because somebody mentioned them I think in the haze whatever it was the haze or one of the other mod trucks had them one of the vintage trucks and apparently what they do is they're just out of your line of sight and they just have enough brightness at night that they uh, slightly restrict your pupil and when somebody all of a sudden comes the other way or you all get a bunch of light coming in your eyes are already a little bit restricted and so you don't get that you know that big flash of light and seeing white spots before your eyes and all that so interesting scenario that road before there's a uh, uh, what's it called um, <laughs> the um, it's the the company that does the windmill thing the uh, what's it um, what's well, Namek in here Keep right. it, on here but in in the game it's going to be a different name because I have the place name mods but it's cool this map has all of that on it is all the highway numbers. It's a pretty good map. It's uh, oh, what am I using here? It's the uh, Sim Dash is what I use on both tablets. And uh, after 100 yards, turn left. They have a bunch of different maps. I uh. I need to look again and see if there's anything more specific to ATS because every one I have is in metric.
so this is metric. That's metric. That one's kind of useless. Go Just shows you out in the middle of nowhere. And this is the one I have been using, which is just all data, info. I'll go back to this one. I'll have to get on their website and see if there's anything more, anything new, because I haven't looked at it in a long time. The Sim Dash website. enjoyed that uh, drive on the Esteron map. That was good. Oh, look at even the parking lights have a high beam. Cool. Makes a good looking combo going down the road. It's too bad the sides of the trailer are all corrugated, but it sort of works. And I decided to go with the truck stripes on the trailer the same way I did on that uh, uh, Doper Legacy from uh, SWC. No, that, that's a nice trailer. That was the first mod trailer I ever bought, so it was a long time ago. And Vincent talked me into that trailer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't regret it. When uh, it pays really well, it's got the like, big, big time salary attached to the uh, salary or wage, I guess, or whatever payment attached to the loads. And uh, when I was did my first my first profile, I took it all the way to twenty million dollars. And that trailer helped a lot. Oh, look at that, it's yeah, prettier in a picture. In fact, oh man, going off the road. <laughs> oh, see the sign <laughs> flying along the ditch there. My word. What am, I, what am I doing? That didn't work. <laughs> I'll have to see what that picture looks like. I should have, should have hit pause and done it, done it properly. It would have had a nice photo. I do need to remember to get a photo. It's a little trickier when you got the long trailer on. you got to get a, a longer angle out of it. You can't do the straight profile shot. Get it all in. That was 70 miles to go. So go by really quick, unlike the Esterlon map. <laughs> oh, we'll try and get a photo somewhere. Oh, look at this we've got here. Nice. Man, I'm gonna make you guys hurl. Do the big Technicolor yawn with me spinning your heads around like that.
This looks like parts of the Dakotas before you get down to the Black Hills. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Get it on the road. Oh, boy. All this stuff in the ditch. Wow. Not much going on for civic pride there. So, um, got to ask the question, what do you guys think the game needs more of, and, uh, you know, in the videos, and maybe, uh, maybe for some of the future plans uh, Recon has for the map, because, you know, the idea eventually is there's going to be a new shop and business pretty much all over the place, be lots of garages, um, in the little towns like Malta that SES put on the map. We'll get, uh, uh, you know, a market or a factory or a, some kind of entity where you can pick up work. And uh, I know you've heard me say it in the videos. If, if you've watched them for a while, every now and then, you know, we'll be driving a line. I'll go, man, look at that. Wish you could pick up a load there. And it looks like that's going to come to fruition. Oh, this looks like us up ahead here. quite the sight on the horizon. Malta. Well, we'll see what they have in store for us. Go straight. So normally Normally in the game you'd go straight through here, but uh, the uh, blockers have been taken off this street, of course. And you can drive down here now. Recon did a whole bunch of work here to this little park and put this curve in the road. So you used to kind of go up here where this dirt is and go that way and... After 100 yards, turn right. It would have been too tight for a... Um, for a, a, like a turnpike double or something to come around there. All right, back in the yard. So we'll have to have a look around the yard here. We'll take a quick peek, see what recon yeah, built here. When we get the load off. Uh, let's see, what do we got? I can do anything, yay. All right, let's see if we can do that. <laughs> oh, we gotta say confirm. I can do anything. All right. So if you want to set this up, uh, um, you got to go. Oh, that is a little tricky. You got, oh, you got all the stuff in the way. Oh, darn. Oh. And you have to have your forklift there, buddy. I think you can move it. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get a look from outside here and see where we're going to go with all of this. At least we got lots of field out here to go into. All right. 
right, let's see what we can do. building if I'm not careful. Darn it. Like to have done that a little smoother. Well, we'll take it. It's a little crooked, but got to do more practice than that. All right, we're there. <laughs> crooked and all. Let's see. Yeah, we'll take a quick peek around here and uh, have a quick look at the uh, yard. Well, wasn't that long a trip, so yeah, we'll take it. Of course, we'll take it. We don't have any option, what am I saying? Okay, so let's um, take a little boo around the yard here. We'll just drive around. So what we'll do, we're going to go... Oh, we're going to run into the forklift right off the bat. How'd that be? Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll go clockwise around the yard. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool yard. So it'll look familiar, like it's pre. Oh, look at there! It's a dope, doker legacy from. Um, that's because I have that other one in my mod order, and that's the way they can just kind of configure by default. That all the fancy options. That trailer takes a while to build because there's so many options for it. And this one's pretty quick. This SCS one, but I like the smooth sides on the doker. But anyway, this is pretty cool. These guys are sitting here taking a break and not getting a lot done. Got a train rolling through over there. And uh, we'll drive around the back here. We got fuel there. That's handy. And a little rental thing going on here with fertilizer spreaders. Then we got feeding. Oh, uh, maybe that's a feeding. Oh yeah, that's probably hay grinders. You drop a bale in there and round bale and it gets all mulched up. Then we got bulk trailers. Got a little Ottawa yard truck. Hopper bottom, hay. Man, it's got everything going on here. All kinds of stuff. Round bales, square bales, Kenworth's coming out the wazoo. Huh. Line up the Kennys. So anyway, there you have it. That's uh, in Malta. So pretty darn neat. I'm liking it. Cargill. So, I don't know if that's because I have map mods or what, why it says Cargill. You have to tell me what you guys are seeing. But anyway, if you, um, if there's something you think, uh, like, because there's a long way to go, there's so much map available, and, I don't know, can I, yeah, I can shrink that down. Like, I mean, Malta barely shows as a spec, and then, oh, you can't see this. But anyway, um, there's just so much room for, you know, things. 
Do we want flat deck loads? Do we want well, everything? Ranching? More cattle hauling? Uh, lumber? Timber? The whole thing. There's just so much, so many options. But uh, I also I mentioned in the last video that I think uh, a lot of guys probably, you know, really like hauling reefers. And I think the next one up for uh, recon is going to focus heavily on a major reefer establishment, like a, almost like a, uh, a hub for uh, reefer traffic. So it could be pretty neat. Anyway, thanks again for following along, guys. Really appreciate it. And uh, as always, uh, just can't thank you enough and uh just thanks for following along really really like it and um take care we'll catch you on the next one bye for now